Pablo Picasso, Déjeuner sur l'herbe, a limited edition lino cut, signed by the artist. I'm Adam Douglas from Peter Harrington. And this is the lino cut in question. It's one of a series that Picasso did after the pattern of Manet's controversial painting, Déjeuner sur l'herbe. And once the eye gets into Picasso's composition, you can see that uh, the basic figures of Manet's painting are kept, but they've become distorted as Picasso worked on them. He's changed them. Um, he started working on this series of reinterpretations in June 1954, and uh, this was done in 1960. It's uh, signed by the artist at the lower right in pencil, and it's numbered number seven of 50 copies only. So this is a lino cut, and one of the glories of lino cuts, uh, Picasso's, uh, uh, anyway, are that he destroyed the lino cuts um, after he'd finished working with them. He, he cut through them so that they couldn't be printed from again, uh, in distinction to some of his lithographs, which uh, were reproduced later. And also, uh, you can see the artist's own incision in the lino cut itself. So you're, this is the artist's hand right here. So even though it's a, a print, a limited edition print, it really is Picasso's own work. Um, as for the composition, um, this figure here on the left, who's uh, known in discussions of the painting as the conversationalist, um, it, it is starting to resemble uh, a portrait, a self-portrait of the artist in old age. Picasso in his, his later sort of satire uh, uh, image. And the figure here that he's uh, talking to uh, resembles Picasso's wife. Uh, the bather in the background has become a, a quite indistinct um, figure, a long way framed by this, uh, these trees either side. Um, it's a wonderful image. It's presented here in a handmade gilt frame, and there are full details of this and all our other items on our website.